Hello students, welcome to Mr. TK classes. Our main topic is adjustments to the statement of comprehensive income and we are focusing on rent income adjustment. In this tutorial, we are going to look at rent income adjustment whereby we are given a percentage decrease. This is our question and this is our answer book. So, in our previous tutorial, we looked at rent income adjustment whereby we are given a percentage increase. If you haven't watched Activity 1 tutorial, please find the link in the description of this video. So, by end of Activity 2 tutorial, you should be knowing all the tricks behind the rent income adjustment whereby we are given a percentage change. Our question reads, Extract from the list of balances for the year ended 31 December 2022. Nominal account section, rent income, 195,600. Adjustments, 1. The company experienced a decline in sales in the year 2018 and it decided to rent out one of its unused warehouses. The company decreased the rent by 12% on 1 July 2022 due to the devastating effects of the coronavirus Omicron variant. The rent for January and February 2023 was received during the current financial year. Required, prepare the statement of comprehensive income extract for the year ended 31 December 2022. So, there are a few things that you should know when preparing the statement of comprehensive income. Number one, the amounts that we record in the statement of comprehensive income are amounts for the year or amounts for the financial period. Number two, rent income in the list of balances or trial balance is rent received because this amount would have been taken from the bank statement. And if we look at our adjustment, we can see that the rent for January and February 2023 was received during the current financial year. Which means that this amount, 195,600, is equal to 14 months. Right? Is equal to 14 months. So, uh, these 14 months that we have here, uh, if you want to calculate them, right, you can say 12 months for the year 2022 plus these two months for the year 2023. That will give us 14. Right? So, what we need to do, we need to record rent for 12 months of year 2022. So we need to subtract these two months. And how are we going to calculate rent for January and February 2023? Alright. Okay. So number one, there is one thing that you should not do. You should not say 195,600 divided by 14. Why? Because rent was not even throughout the year. Rent changed during the financial year. Because the adjustment says the company decreased the rent by 12% on 1 July 2022. So rent was not even throughout the year. So we cannot divide by 14. So what we have to do, we have to determine the number of months before decrease and the number of months after decrease. So we are going to say months before decrease, right? Months before decrease, we need to count them. We are going to start from January, right? Because that's the start of our financial year, which ends that one December. So we are going to say 
January, February, March, April, May, June. We cannot count July. Why? Because this is one July. So, months before decrease, six. Right? Then months after decrease. Months after decrease. Right? Months after decrease, we have to count. Right? So, we are going to start from July. So, we are going to say July, August, September, October, November, December. Right? So, this is December 2022. So, we also have to count January and February 2023. So, we are going to say January, February. So, we have eight months. We have eight months. Right? So, we are going to create what I will call apportionment basis. Right? We are going to create what I will call apportionment basis. Right, so uh, there is one thing that you should know at this point, and what is that? You should know that an amount before change is equal to 100%. Right, an amount before decrease is equal to 100%, an amount before increase is equal to 100%. Right, so we are going to use 100 here. 6 multiplied by 100, what do we get? 600. Right? 600. Then, we are going to say 8 multiplied by. Right? Remember, we have a decrease here. A decrease of 12%. So, we are going to say 100 subtract 12. We are going to get 88. So we're going to say 8 multiplied by 88. What do we get? Multiply by 8, 704. Right? 704. Plus 704. 1,304. 1,304. 1,304. Right. Okay. So, remember we are calculating rent for January and February 2023. Because we want to subtract that rent from the amount that we have. We want to record the rent for 12 months. Right? For 12 months. 12 months of our year 2022. Because our financial year ends 31 December 2022. So we want to subtract January and February 2023. Right? We want to subtract January and February 2023. So January and February 2023 are months after decrease right are months after decrease so we are going to use 704 so we are going to say 704 divided by 1304 multiplied by 195600 Divided by 1,304 multiplied by 195,600. 105,600. 105,600. Right? So, this is equivalent to 8 months after decrease. Right, eight months after decrease because we used 704. Right, so 
we are going to say 105,600 divided by 8, right? Divided by 8 months. Thirteen thousand two hundred. Thirteen thousand two hundred. Right, so this is one month after decrease. One month after decrease. Right? And we are calculating two months after decrease. So we are going to say thirteen thousand two hundred. Multiply by 2 is equals to 26,400. 26,400. So we are going to open our parentheses. Write 195,600. Subtract 26,400. Right, so 26,400 was received in advance. 26,400 is not for the current financial year. It's for the next financial year. So we have to subtract that. It's for January and February 2023. Right, so this is our range income for the year. 195,600. Subtract 26,400. Right? This is our rent income for the year. 169,200. So, this is how we deal with this type of adjustment. In our next tutorial, we are going to look at rent income whereby we are given amount increase. Thank you. See you next time.